this question asks us to look at this pedigree uh, using symbols uh, to communicate uh, various pieces of information to you. Um, so we have three generations here and uh, we're asked to uh, answer a few questions about it. So first of all, you wanted to know how many people are affected. So your affected people are going to be your red um, individuals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six individuals that are affected. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then we're supposed to identify people. So the first thing we want to identify are affected male. Um, so the answer to that, uh, given our options are 5, 8, 1, and 2, 2, 17, and 19, uh, that's going to be 8 because uh, that's an affected male. Actually, all of these are affected males. So uh, in these pedigrees, males are squares and females are circles. And of course, red is affected and uh, uh, the uh, tan is unaffected. Uh, and then the next question we need to answer are unaffected females. So that's going to be all of these. Actually, all of the females are unaffected in this case, which tells us something about the disease. Um, so uh, the number that we're going to pick here, though, is going to be two. Two is an unaffected female up here. Great. Uh, and then uh, we want to pick uh, siblings. So um, so 17 and 19 are siblings. So the way these work are uh, these here, these lines across are marriages or well, uh, mating pairs, uh, depending on whether you're doing humans or uh, animals. And then uh, these lines indicate that, hey, these are siblings. So uh, for example, 3, 6, 8, and 9 are all siblings, 17, 18, and 19 are all siblings, and that's sort of how this works. So hopefully this was helpful. Best of luck.